everyone. Thanks for taking the time to watch the short, very short video that's going to accompany this month's geospatial tip of the month. In this short video, I'm just going to show you how WinClone works and looks. Really simple program. Here we are on the OSX side of my MacBook Pro. And here is my partition that I use to run Windows 7 off of. It's obviously underneath my Mac in the bootcamp. So what I've done, um, obviously you're not going to be able to see this, but I have plugged in an external hard drive to save this because the partition is bigger than the hard drive or the partition uh, backup would not fit on the hard drive because it's so large since the uh, whole hard drive is only 512 gigabytes. So what you would do is you would go over here and you would press the save image button and you would go press save image and it's going to tell you that you should do a, a check disk which have, I usually do before I do my saving of images and I press save. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to want to make sure you go over here to your devices and you're going to want to switch to the external hard drive that you have. Then you're going to want to give it a name. I call my computer Aries and then I give it a date. So whatever today's date might be. And then you go ahead and you would press save. And it's really that easy. So I'm going to cancel it since I don't need to do one right now. And then if you were ever to need to restore, um, you would simply go over to here and you would press the restore button and uh, it goes through a process of deleting your old partition and you're good to go. I've actually never gone through that process. I've just uh, looked at the direction manuals. I'm guessing it's very simple. This program is extremely simple to use. So thanks for taking the time to watch this month's geospatial tip of the month and we'll see you uh, next time. Thanks.